Welcome to the Pharma Voice Editor's Take video series, filmed live at the 2011 DIA Annual Meeting in Chicago. Hosted by Taryn Grome, Editor of Pharma Voice. In this session, Taryn meets with Peter Benton, Executive VP and President eClinical Solutions, BioClinica. Hi Peter, great to see you. Can you please discuss how Trident IWR's Intuitive Study Setup User Interface empowers business users to quickly set up, test, and deploy new protocols and then monitor and maintain them in one easy place? Yeah, Trident is uh, not the first, but one of the most widely accepted, newly developed parameter-driven IVR systems. And what parameter-driven means is it's, it's not a programming language like most of the IVR systems. So we've actually thought about everything you need to worry about in trial. We pre-validated that. So when you're building the study, not only is it intuitive to use and set up and configure the study or add special features if you need to, more importantly, all of that work has already been validated. So instead of going through a long study specific validation process, uh, you literally just need to do a UAT verification and we're rapidly reducing the startup time. Most of our competitors are taking 14, 12, 14, 16 weeks to get a study up and going. Uh, we haven't taken more than three weeks for a single study and we've done it in a few as a, as a several days uh, for studies. The other, the other piece is our Bioclinica Optimizer. So if you've done all your study planning and simulation and figured out how to save millions of dollars in your clinical supplies cost, you can actually export the file from that system and put it directly into it, actually build the study from that file. 60-70% uh, of the work you need to do for IWR has already been done in the early planning stages. So we get to reuse all of that experience and literally build that, uh, build that study in record, record time. Peter, you have your finger on the pulse of what's happening in the industry. Can you talk to us about what the hot trends are in the clinical solutions? Uh, I, I think one of the um, one of the big trends we see is people have spent a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money in all these different systems between CTMS and EDC and IVR safety systems, document management systems. You know, huge, huge investments. Uh, across the board in uh, infrastructure, technology, hosting, support, integration. What we're seeing is customers really want to leverage the technology they already have, right? They're trying to figure out how to stretch their dollars as far as possible. And so one of the things we hear repeatedly from our customers, I've already invested in this Microsoft application stack. I have Microsoft Outlook, I have Excel, I have SharePoint, I have this infrastructure already in place. I want to utilize it as effectively as I can. One of the top pharma companies we just recently spoke to said, we think we use 30% of the functionality of the tools that we already have in our desktops. How can we use those more effectively to run our trials? And so by being able to connect all of our systems through our CTMS and up into SharePoint into Office, people can literally, inside of their Outlook client, manage their clinical trial. They can see all of the uh, site, you know, site monitoring trip, trips that need to go on, all the scheduling activities, all of the to-do lists and the task, the contact list of all the investigators, the sites, where the supplies go, where billing goes to, et cetera. And depending on their document management system, things like NextDocs and others, they can then serve up the, the information about their protocols, IRBs, waivers, any other documentation. And again, they do it through Outlook. And uh, you know, it's the number one tool that all of us use. Uh, there's a few folks that use Lotus Notes. They're rapidly switching as soon as they see the functionality and uh, you know, allows people to use uh, the tools they already have at their fingertips. And people know how to use those products, so it's a, it's a very easy training process. Additional editors take videos, as well as podcasts, white papers, webinars, and more, are available in the resources area at www.pharmavoice.com.